So what F is considered a major? Or... Yeah, F is a major, yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, and then now we're in G, I think. G is G is also a major. Yeah. So it's one, two, three, five, six. You got it. I mean it's uh, it's okay like it's you know um, you can you can either play just a regular regular one you know, like a normal fingers here or you could uh, this would be index middle pinky middle pinky again right or you could use index middle the whole time index ring the whole time I yeah, like this. You, yeah you could do it that way Um, but what I mean is like index index ring is possible as well like to slide around index index ring only like just those two fingers the slide yeah ring finger there right Coming back, you're gonna slide back with your index, right? forwards with the ring, uh -huh. and back with the index. Yeah, that's the, some. That's basically the best way to be playing major pentatonics, I guess. So like now we're back to minor pentatonics. This only has one grip. Uh, yeah, I didn't put any B pentatonics, but yeah. we'll just go up to C. I mean, what would it? What, what uh, well, there wouldn't be any diminished pentatonics. We could use like a minor pentatonic if we wanted to.
Yeah, make sure to keep looking for the roots when you go up and when you come back. That's the key. practice but is that was basically the pentatonic octaves yeah was. sure let's try to do it with like the with the with the little track here <laughs> why not okay. just fun. i gotta turn that on my phone okay back, we're back to the fucking caveman days here yeah yeah it's okay it's three dot virtual guitar lesson dot com easy <laughs> i'm just gonna click the link from your email and then i gotta log into the second one yeah just go ahead and go to three dot virtual guitar lesson dot com They'll take you straight to that login screen. Oh shit! Okay, too late. Hold on. So I'm, I'm already logged in. So I'm gonna go straight to. Um, color ranking system three. That'll work as well. Student access. Three dot virtual guitar lesson. Yeah. <laughs> So that was pretty good here. It's been on a while this. since I've looked at it. That wasn't too bad considering it's been a really long time. Since looked yeah, this. no, that was that was actually really good. In fact, I was thinking maybe you could uh, speed this up a little bit. Like you know, you don't have to do it at the normal speed. You could you could play it at one twenty five or one fifty and stuff. You know, to mm -hmm. really, if you if you feel like it's easy for you and stuff, you know. Um, I I'll... mean, I don't know if I go that far. I mean, there is definitely some like little errors that I made in, like uh, okay. in time. But I mean, I, I like there's definitely certain parts of it that I could play faster. Like probably the majority of it, but like. There's still just like a couple of spots that I'm not 
My fretboard memory isn't perfect, obviously. All right. So we'll give you a pretty decent score on this one here for now because this is just the uh, so this is just the um, yeah. So much better than last time on the pentatonic octaves. Last time I remember you had a little bit of trouble playing the pentatonics. Um, yeah, I remember that too, and I kind of thinking back on now, I'm like, it's not really that difficult. It's not that different yeah. than. I think I was having trouble like remembering how the major and minors were were sure. different, but it it makes sense to me. But but I also yeah, remember you were like, really good at playing um, the actual song, I think, right? Like when you were you know, like jamming along with it, right? It was pretty decent. Yeah, man. So let's, 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 try, uh, let's try playing, um, you know, one of these different keys. Maybe we can, um... You mean just like jamming in a particular key? Yeah, because right underneath, you know, we've got the different backing tracks. So we oh, okay. Do... And keep in mind that these uh, are in... Wait, really? Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm up there. All right. so yeah, key... keep in mind that these aren't modes anymore, so... Um, they're actual. They're, they're the actual keys, like the A minor, D minor, E minor. Which one is that? D minor. I mean, I'm just, right. That's what you went to. So yeah, let's let's. What, go do, ahead what do you mean by they're not time. modes? What is that? So is normally that we'd be playing D Dorian, right? Uh, okay. But this is actually. So D you're minor. not following. You're basically following the minor. You're not adhering to. The pattern you're actually right. modifying the pattern to be to make D minor instead of exactly. So we're using the A letter pattern instead. But here's the thing: we don't need to use that because we're playing pentatonics. So it doesn't matter. The cool thing about pentatonics is you can play it in any key. Like it's literally a super ver in the triads as well. Super versatile. You know the triads are the most versatile because you can play them over everything. Absolutely. Because I mean, mm. that, that's what chords are. You play chords and you play triads over chords, arpeggios over chords, right? But uh, the pentatonic mm. is just like one extra note. So like you can do it in 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 either you could pick a minor key and you could play the minors, or you could pick the major key and you play whatever major you want to. And this can be any type Got of it. mode, um, or any type of mode. So it could be Phrygian, you play the pentatonics. It could be, well, it could be Lydian, you play the pentatonics. You could be major or minor, but kind of see what I mean. It's like it's really versatile sure <laughs> so we're just working with <laughs> regular old minor here let's go oh. and try to play that <laughs> all right <laughs> It still works, right? Yeah, I guess so. So the thing is, that wasn't a key change, it wasn't a modulation, it was just a root, um, like it's still, it's still the same key, it's just focusing on a different one of those.
Nice. <laughs> All right. So yeah, definitely is nicer than just having uh, three. Keys, the triads, sure. yeah. But you seeing how the triads is like, really important because you got to keep coming back to them. To make Absolutely. It sound. Oh, yeah. I I think about that like the whole time. I'm doing yeah, this. dude, awesome. this is awesome. See, like the see when um when I was learning, like I knew about the whole triad concept and I knew that I was supposed to like hit the right notes. But the problem is, I was told to hit the right notes. He was like, okay, you're playing over a G. Hit the G B D, and I'm like, <laughs> what? Where's G? Where's B? Where's D? I don't even know what. I, and then all of a sudden, it's like another chord, and it's like, well, now you got to play the C, the C E G. It's like, wait, 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 wait. Where's <laughs> this? I couldn't know where anything was, until I finally realized. Well, you know, if you just learn the the little these three little this this one little shape. <laughs> And you just move it around, and uh, and it, it works. Even though it's super simple, like I mean, keep in mind, music only has seven letters, so I mean, it is pretty simple. For sure. Yeah. <laughs> it's just yeah, that there's definitely. dynamics because we have to. It's like ingredients when you're making food. Like there's everything that has to go into the chemical mixtures of food. There's like so many small little details. It can go down even to the molecular level. I'm just gonna stop rambling now. But let's go over to I'm gonna <laughs> like, try to try to score you here for for that. I would I would say it's around a seven at this point you know and we could definitely try another another jam here you know maybe we can do like um, a g or, an, or something like that all right so that's pretty good stuff there sweet yeah we're making some good progress on these things and in terms of, like in terms of the memory like you got this down um pretty, 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 pretty. This <laughs>
Hmm, that was, nice. That was fun. All right. So, well, I can tell that you're you're thinking about like your dynamics and you're going up and down all these different octaves and stuff. That's really good. Like, you know, you're trying to you're trying to really play along with the track and trying to like work work your guitar playing into it, right? For sure. Yeah. I mean, yeah. somewhat like it's pretty uh simplified back in track, so it's kind of like hard to say that every anything you do is like but there's definitely like some you know parts where they uh like uh, i don't know what it's called in music but like where you come up to like a, you know you come up to like at the end of like a bar i guess in music and like then it's like it's, it's the same point where the drummer would play like a little drum roll type thing at the so end those of those accents the, or yeah is that i, I guess or fillers, so. i guess yeah, like, or like you know, like right before you come to the chorus, there's like yeah. sometimes it's like, like it's bridge? not just regular drumming. It's like it's like a fill. Yeah, like a trans, like a transition or whatever. Yeah, you yeah, know? these little transitions. Those are really important for guitar for music. It's like super important yeah. to add transitions. You're totally right on that. Right. <laughs> um, but the yeah, main it thing it drives like the emotional component of the music too. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, the main thing though that we really want to get into is making riffs. All right, okay. because um well even though we're improvising over this backing track like we don't want to just be like constantly playing new stuff and and, uh, and stuff right we want to have some sort of um like things that we repeat and sort of an idea and a structure that we go through you know right I'm with you. now it's hard this. it's hard because i mean it is improvising and there's no real structure in improvising you just got to kind of like go with it but let's just see if we can right. um do a little bit more of this riff making exercise now because this is going to be uh, again in the same uh, general region here's sky seven this is going to be the riff making with triad plus one so we're kind of going into using these things more instead of just like randomly like this like we've been using them just sort of triad randomly playing around plus right? one. is that yeah is triad plus one different than the pentatonic octave well it's kind of a different concept it's not really a scale it's more of just like uh. When you're improv when you're making this riff making exercise, the try plus one means pick one of the notes from the scale and become familiar with the sound of that note and use this note more okay. as the focus for this exercise. So you're gonna sort of pick like the one three five is obviously gonna be your triad there, but what's the plus one? We could use the four oh, or the that. seven, the two or the six. Okay. Whichever one of those. And um, not the eight though. Uh the eight's gonna be the same thing as the one three five. Right, right. But like you, when you say plus one, you're talking about something besides yeah. the one, three, five. Besides those constant pitches. And you're just going to try to listen to what that sounds like. You're going to really try okay. to figure out how can you use that more? How can you start to like find different things you can do with that note with the one, three, five? And you can start to put that into your into your riffs. And that is sort of our, our general focus with this particular riff making exercise. Keep in mind, riff making is a general um, exercise. You can see there's like an, uh, instructions for it. But there's many different ways that we can do this because this is for like scales and stuff. So this is just mm -hmm. one of those examples of tri plus one. Got it. Okay. So later we're gonna come around and do this with the triad plus or the, you know, the pentatonics full, the letter patterns full, and keep trying different things. But let's keep in mind right now we just want to try to get one note. Hear how that sounds. Now, okay. here are sort of the instructions. Let's go to the fun part, the repetition stuff, okay. right? Mm -hmm. Um. Right. The variations we want to be changing beginnings and endings. So I mean we've done this before, right? Uh, I mean, like you mean like uh, improvising and riffing? <laughs> Riff making, yeah. We've done this exercise plenty of times, but I, we just got yeah yeah we just got to keep coming back and doing it because it's the best exercise. <laughs> so let's try this in E because I like E. Uh, so we got the try plus one. And what's the one that we're going to use? Well, how about we try a seven? Now, we want to try changing some endings here. So I'm going to come up with an intro, and then I'll start changing the endings and making sure that I use that seven. So that's the seven right there is the... Yeah, exactly. And those are the only notes that we can use right now. The only notes no, available. No, just the one and the three and the five and then something else, right? Right, one through five and the seven specifically. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, so go ahead and start. You can start with that with actually as a good uh, beginning, and then come up with an ending. Yeah, so let's try to start with that intro and find some endings to... Can get some more, like... A little crunch in there. And that was good that you sort of played that motif in multiple octaves. Like, I played it in the low, you played it in the high. So you could play this in, like, all the different octaves. It doesn't have to be, like, one specific octave. Keep trying around and starting in different octaves. With the same phrase. Try not to blow the freaking white out of here. The volume. I want a little bit. Yeah. So quiet. Doing the right thing? Well, that was okay, but you know, we can go a little further than that. There's more octaves, okay. right? Oh, fuck, okay, you're right. <laughs> yeah, I gotta remember where it is. Got this. Uh, you could only play. You have to go down here for the seven, right? Over here. Um. Yeah. You, there's a couple different sevens around there because we have the highest seven. Super twenty twenty second fret. I think it's somewhere around there. We could also play it around the uh, the D as well down here. Keep in mind, this is the triads, and then you're just throwing in the seven, so. <laughs> okay, sorry. Yeah, try it in different octaves and stuff, and then just keep trying to find some new endings. It's tough, man. It's not. It's not easy. Want some examples? Sure. <laughs> yeah, it's a little yeah, tough just... sometimes because, like, you know, you kind of get stuck in one octave in one place. You kind of start playing the same things. It sounded good to start with, and yeah. uh, now I'm kind of like. Uh... And, and I mean, that's... I guess I could go low too, right? Right. That's why we want to keep doing this, is because you're gonna get bored of playing the same things, right? So you're like, how can I change this? For sure. Yeah, definitely. I mean, like, there's some definitely some cool stuff to be done, but like. Well, I think we we pretty much let's go ahead and just go on to the next part of this because we we've, we've finished about the endings, right? It's just kind of think about that. 
Okay. You're changing endings, it. it's really good. You got the beginnings, right. it's always the same. You're changing your endings, right. it makes it sound catchy. That's like the intro to a song, man. It sounded like you, you could like just get, you know, open the track with just guitar for like a couple, a couple of uh, bars and then like mm. yeah, everybody else comes in. Bass and yeah, drums, you got it. Just, be very cool. Yeah, I mean, there's there's certain little like tricks that you can do in music that are just like that are basic, but they're really powerful. So let's change beginnings now. For sure. Okay. Well, let's do it in A, I guess. Um, so now we want to start landing. <laughs> uh, we want to land on some stuff. So. So okay. I mean, seven always honestly. I think seven just sounds good. Like, yeah. In general. So, so why don't it's we gonna be hard to beat that. that? We can end on that. So let's start it with something, right? Oops. Uh, oh, whoops. I screwed up here. So I'm starting to like move into different octaves, play some different things. Mm-hmm. There's so much more. You want to try That's a little bit? Yeah, 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 for sure. So, so it's um, so that's the ending. Sure. So what sounds good, like double stop? Try it. I mean, like double stopping. Yeah, triads. Anything, if you double stop with a triad, will sound good. try finding your own ending that you kind of make because uh that one is a little bit weird to be honest i needed to sort of okay. change the rhythm a bit i think it'll be a little bit more comfortable i think it'll be a little more comfortable sort of finding something that you can comfortably land on Try to try to like formulate an ending here. Okay. <clears throat> an you can even end on the A, you know. We're gonna need something before that. I, I'm just honestly gonna have to like block eventually. I don't know, dude. Honestly, man, this is like uh, hard to come up with off some head. Um, <laughs> okay, so let's play a riff and then just end it, right? And then just remember what the ending was. Play a riff mm-hmm. and then end it. Okay. Yeah. 
Let's um, play a little riff. Um, just a couple notes. <laughs> I don't know why this is so much harder. No, it's okay. Here's just go. like uh... there you go. Okay, so how do we end that? <clears throat> Yeah, so you played with a three and a one, right? In the, in the loop, yeah. That could be your ending. Play the three one again. Yeah, so that'll be your ending. So whatever you do, end it with that. Well, we kind of want we kind of want to so hear I that. Say plus one? Yeah, because like you you want to hear like an ending. So uh, this was the ending, right? Well, we wanted to make yeah. a sound of, like a, like a riff, right? So right. so I hear that. Are you hitting a what? What are you hitting in there? Um. I did, okay, so I guess we, we had determined that we were going to use the 7. Oh, we're going to use 7 again, okay. Got it. Uh, we could use a different thing. We could use like a 6 or something. Why not? So, I don't know, we'll switch to the minor 6 here. But either way, it's still going to be an ending like this. See how like this tends to get complicated because it's just, like you can keep changing things around like this, but <laughs> here's our ending and it's 3-1. And we just want to make a riff that sort of that ends like that. You could do it in different octaves as well. And I hear it's still there, right? Oh I hit the four there. I screwed up there. End it there as well, right? right so every time we end our three to one. So every time you're playing something, we just kind of hear that coming back at the end. change the ending there though right yeah it's, <laughs> you, it's, it's, it's okay but you can you can add that in if you want if you want to sort of end it like that instead so just try to, try to try to try to i was going i was going through it's just the timing i was not oh the timing well the timing is the ending right well, for sure yeah i just <laughs> yeah, i like i'm tr i was like i had the timing down but i tried to squeeze too many little things in there and it, it just didn't gotcha work. Yeah, okay, Just okay. Keep shit. going. No worries. Yeah. yeah. It's tough. could also try to do is um like uh try to repeat what you're doing because that's something you can do here let's if it's a little difficult to like come up with new things one of the easy things to do is uh um repeat your phrases makes it easy 
if you remember things. Okay. So if you just if you're struggling, repeat your phrases if you're struggling, basically. Yeah, I mean, I'm definitely like having uh, like I need to mix it up a little bit more. But like well, with like I feel like I'm just like 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 randomly wandering looking for stuff, and when I do that, it makes it really hard to get the timing consistent on the ending because yeah. like, it's like you don't know where you are but then not all of a sudden you have to like switch from whatever you're doing to accommodate the timing right. the ending doesn't sound like it's yeah it's i got you i got you that's exactly what i was translation to say. translation it's shit <laughs> <laughs> i mean it's 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 not really that uh like you 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 do want to play random stuff because that's sort of what i do but you want to keep the rhythm at your forefront so that way you just yeah, focus on right. the rhythm and you're just playing random stuff and then you just end it when you know the rhythm's gonna end That's sort of one way to do it <laughs> um let's focus on the rhythm now because we've done the beginning we've done the okay. endings let's focus on getting the rhythm patterns different and we're gonna keep the, we're gonna keep the notes the same in the same order and there's some cool things we could do uh we've already done this a few times before like we like we said but um you know it is hard to do these things so we gotta come back here let's try it in uh I'll do an F because we haven't really done an F in a while. How about we do one a four? Because obviously we need to do that. And then we'll hit the six. Uh, that's gonna be too much. Well, actually, you know. One, one, four, five. And I'm gonna play one four, one four there, and then a five here. And then I'll play a four there. And I'll even hit that open to make it really crazy. And even maybe even the zero. Alright, so a lot of stuff, but here's the thing. I want to keep the order the same. But I'm gonna keep changing rhythm patterns. That was one rhythm. Let's try a new one. Okay. Okay. That's another rhythm. Let's try another one here. This time I'm going to try using one of these crazy techniques like accenting certain pitches with tremolo. So I've been accenting the this one here with tremolo and a little bit of that one there. Let's try accenting maybe um, Accenting the four there. Let's try accenting the um the this five. That's crazy, right? And I'll try to I'll, and, and notice this is get there faster. Sorry, so it's zero. The notes I'm playing aren't super important. You're going to find your own notes and stuff, but just kind of keeping oh, okay. in mind, like, these sort of examples I'm doing, like, what we're sort of doing here. So I'm just kind of accenting certain pitches with the tremolo, right? You could sort of hear, okay. like, some of these notes, I'm putting more importance on them because I'm playing them, like, just, like, hanging on to them. Or I can okay. get there faster, right? Like, if I'm going to hang on to one of those notes, I got to get there faster because I got to cut out other stuff. So if I get to the five, I want to get there really fast.
And now it sounds really different because I had to get the five really quick. All right. I could also start on different notes and stuff, but let's go ahead and just kind of switch off here. You go. You can go ahead and try some of these things. We're gonna want to keep the notes the same, so let's pick like uh, you know four really easy notes that you could remember the order of. Okay. Uh... So what's the order? Let's just try picking four notes. One here, right? A G is fine. What's the next one? A five? All right. So if we play one five, that means we're going to be, you know, in our, in our G major somewhere. We're also going to want to pick a plus one. So, you know, how about the, um, how about a two? Could use that seven, but then it'll be like uh, so, yeah. well, whichever one you want to pick. You know, just how about just like that one, five, seven, and an eight. Okay, so that's your order. Okay. Now you need to start making new rhythms and. Going back down, or doesn't it? We just want to go up, unless you want to, you know, make that part of the. In fact, to make it a little bit uh, easier on the ears to help you a bit, let's go ahead and hit the three on your way back down. So you're gonna end on that three, actually. Okay. Okay, so now what we're gonna wanna do though is we're gonna wanna keep one rhythm pattern going for a while, and get, a, get into a groove before switching. Well, we kind of changed the order there. <laughs> right, there we go. Okay, that's good. Oh, still not a little extra shit. I guess, I guess it's okay. We could, we could do that. My bad. I'm very, I'm a stickler. <laughs> so that's a pretty good rhythm. Let's try to find another one. That started to sound like something. Let's elaborate a little further here. Nice, that's good. Perfect, let's try to find another one. Now, let's think about the first the first little trick here. Accent certain pitches. Which pitch? Pick one of those pitches that you're going to sort of like focus on. This. That one. Let's do it. Okay. 
Let's try to get there faster. Let's try to tremolo it. Try to speed it up to make it a little groovier. Yeah, yeah, that's good. You need to sort of like tremolo that seven a bit. Yeah, exactly. A rhythmic tremolo. Okay, okay. Um, this one, it's it's a little tough to get that one. You know why it's a little tough here? Because ending on a three, it doesn't, I mean, it doesn't sound. <laughs> well, there's five notes, and you're probably thinking, well, there's four, so you're trying to divide it up equally and stuff. Your mind is trying to do that sort of subconsciously, but ah, there's five, so you have it. to account for that. Okay. Okay. Got it. Yeah, you could be, be very right. I'm trying to fit it inside of a box. It doesn't belong. <laughs> <laughs> let's keep let's try a new rhythm because this is one of the more important things okay now one way that you can also really change this up here uh well okay. let's try another one of those accenting certain pitches with the trembles because it's that's an important one um where are we at here i'll give you an example so let's say let's accent this eight because we don't really get there too much And we'll try another one that was same accenting the eight. Okay, and you see how like we kind of sort of, I don't know, it's hard, but you want to like, you know what you're gonna try to do, so you have to like, you have to like, I don't know, try to like build a staircase to get there. You know what I mean? Okay. <laughs> Cause I know I'm gonna I know I'm gonna hit this. Okay. I'm gonna play something like So how am I gonna add more room to that? I have to cut some some out from the other spaces, I have to get there faster, right? Or I have to like maybe just like spend a little less time on the other notes. Go ahead and try. Okay. I guess I'm really not sure what, what to do differently this time. I mean, except I guess we're actually accenting the eighth this time. Accenting, some, accenting one of these notes more than the others. Yeah, that was much better. Did you see that? So I gave you a little bit of a different rhythm than when you were accenting other notes. Before, I think you were accenting a three at the beginning. All right. Now, let's try the... I don't like the three at all. It sounds like shit. <laughs> well... Especially since we're ending on it. It just does not sound good. It's sort of a transitional note. But again, like, you have to find a way to rhythmically play it properly because... Any notes can sound good together if you use the right rhythm. It's very important to know That's that. It's a, a very bold statement. Yeah, well, uh, I think it's definitely true. You can't just you can't make two notes sound bad together unless you f give it the wrong rhythm, right? Yeah, but I mean, some just notes just you know. I mean, they might sound good with other notes, but like 
I believe there are particular combinations of notes that just... If we chose any two notes... Well, two all... notes is kind of hard to screw that up. I mean, but, right. You know, I think... Hey, even once if you get to three. Like three... Hey, why not? Why not make three well, notes here? Yeah. I'll, I'll I think three is even a little hard to screw up. But four is where you, four, cause you okay. kind of have like... A, you, have a, you have a pattern. You but know, see, you but a... now you've got two groups of two. So okay. if you can make the first two sound good... And you can make the next two sound good. Maybe there's a way to bridge the gap there between those two as well. So now you've got two elements there. So in my opinion, I don't think that any two notes will ever sound wrong together unless you don't use the right rhythm. There's always a rhythmic way to make anything sound good. Anything, in my opinion. I, 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 I've yet to be demonstrated this incorrectly because I've... Well, I've... I feel like what we were just doing with the three right. as the last one... Oh yeah. I don't think that. Well, it that sounded The rhythm wasn't there though, right? You got to got to find a good rhythm. Right? It's got to be a good rhythm. Let's see if we can find a good rhythm that'll make that sound good, right? Um here. One way that you can make another rhythm is to start on different notes, right? So, we still have the same order. But this time, uh we're going to start maybe on this one. And now it sounds much better, doesn't it? I, I mean, may, like maybe moderately better. Okay, let's try some other rhythms. <laughs> it's just a, it's just a rough combination of chords. Let's start on this note. Okay, I'll give you that. <laughs> okay, so I'll give is... you that. No, because it's the fact that you're not ending on the three. The three ending on the three, I think, is what sounds incorrect. Well, about the maybe in that rhythmic context, but I think I could still make that three ending sound pretty good. This is. This is a Mixolydian G. I like how it sounds, to be honest. Gotcha. Right? It sounds pretty sick. Um, it, like once you add in like the <laughs> right. So you see, it's all about the rhythm. It's all about the rhythm. Like it doesn't matter what notes I'm hitting. Yeah. See, there's there's always a way to rhythmically make it sound right. And yeah, like... <laughs> I mean, if we mix other chords in there, I, I definitely agree. But I mean, there's a reason there's not a lot of lot songs in the Mixolydian mode, you know? You just very rarely hear them. I mean, hmm. not that they're bad. I mean, they're just like their own like, thing. They're not really like as catchy, I guess. It's like... That's, 
And sometimes you have to try to force it to sound really bad, and then you might be able to sound might be able to sound better, right? Well, anyway, um, let's uh, I guess I guess we can probably go ahead and uh, call it a day here. I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, well, this that's is good. That was a good lesson, man. This, this is pretty important experience. stuff, man. This is a really, really powerful <laughs> exercise, yeah. Because <laughs> it forces you to yeah, like keep thinking. Definitely. I mean, yeah. I like. Hmm, I don't know. Like, if I could, maybe like, develop or memorize a certain number of types of riffs, maybe like that would be helpful. Like. I don't know, like there's uh I don't even know if that's a thing, but like chops. you know, like you hear like like you know, you get like the like for example the double yeah. stops like the Sure. Little chops. I don't know, say little like things and come up with names for them. And then be like, alright, we're gonna do uh, you know, a one, a two, and then a five, you know, but you, like, have, you know, names instead of numbers. Well, um, I don't know. those things I mean, I'm kind sure they of, have names already. yeah, those things kind of exist, but, um, you know, they're, they're sort of called chops, right? But the thing is, we want to be chops. careful about chops, because, well, chops are going to be sort of our, our, our cliche riffs that we really want to stay away from. So I, um, I know about these chops, but I've purposefully, like, tried to, anytime I'm about to do a chop, I change it. I want to make sure it doesn't what sound is a choppy. Chop is that is an accent? Something just like this. How many times have you heard that before? That sounds really cool. What do you mean? Well, those are chops. Those are chops, though. That thing that you did where you go in that order, like the note. Progression is the chop? Or? Yeah, I mean, just straight up, this is a chop. Everyone sort of does this. You're gonna learn. This is on the A minor scale. <laughs> on the third string here. I'm gonna bend from the seventh fret. You go to the seventh fret to bend. Oh yeah. And then use the pinky on the second string. Yeah. So that's a little chop. You're gonna learn those in like songs and solos and stuff. That. Oh yeah, he does this in. Uh... That one part in Pink uh, Floyd and stuff. Uh, no, uh, yeah, it's Led Zeppelin. Like, yeah, it goes. What is it? Is right here. Yeah, what he does. Here. Yeah, so you played one in there. Whatever. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Those little things, those are all little chops. Like, So instead of trying to play chops, what you want to try uh -huh. to do is is listen to what you're playing. And, and, and well, you're going to know when it sounds good, right? So um, right, right. try not to sound too cliche-ish. Yeah, so you can use these little chops, but try to, try to, I don't know, you want to, you want to try to use rhythm mostly. Rhythm is gonna be your key to making any any of these chops. You gotta put them rhythmically in order too. So the rhythm is the For key sure. to making yeah. any sound. Yeah. Definitely. So it's not Definitely. really even about like the chops. It's all about that rhythm because you're gonna have your triads, right? Your triads can act as like bases, right? And that's almost like having a chop. It's like you have a place to land. Like how can you be? How can you? How can you ever go wrong? You have a place to end. You have a place to go. <laughs> Anyway, you're right, safe. Right. No, that's good. That's cool, man. That's good. Yeah. That's good. Uh, and then we also have some other ones like, um, yeah, like even even just the scales themselves. Those are also sort of like reasonable stepping stones that you could sort of follow around there. People sort of want to 
want to like learn these chops and things but and, and scales but it's it's really ab about just choosing some of these notes listening to it and getting the rhythm that's it because mm -hmm. you don't need to know these scales you don't need to know these triads you don't need to know all this stuff to make good music right the mars volta mm -hmm. the mars volta don't know anything about theory but they make great music right mm -hmm. it's because they listen oh, to what they're yeah. playing and they're using different rhythms right yeah. so you pick any Let's random notes put creative. some rhythm together yeah <laughs> so it's it's more of just a rhythm uh problem than than a than a chop problem gotcha that's what's happening <laughs> all oh, right well, anyways that's cool. that's good yeah it's, it's good to know right? most definitely do. i mean obviously chops are gonna make you sound really really good too right because they sound they sound sick but then you're just gonna sound sort of like mm -hmm. a like a cardboard cutout instead Cliché. of yeah, very cliche oh instead of coming up with your own things really easily. It's so easy to come up with these things, you know. Got it. Yeah, for sure. It's oh. uh it takes like a certain mentality too, like, you know. Yeah. Like uh admittedly I'm a little tired right now. I don't know. Yeah. It's but, okay. But it was good it was good, man. It was good. It was good to, uh good to like delve into that a little bit. It was, nice. it was pretty chill. Okay, good stuff, yeah, man. man. All right, I'll see you around then, yeah. <laughs> All right, Mateo. Have a All good right. one, man. That was a